Layer comps are great for organizing as well as exporting out separate elements from the animation. Sometimes it's desirable to export a scene out using multiple exports, exporting out, for instance, your character separately so they have a transparent background. And you could then implement that character, let's say, into After Effects with the other layer comps, rebuild the scene in After Effects, and then go in and add in your special effects that you want to add in through that application. And being able to separate out the layers and render those out and then reintegrate the layers essentially back into another application can be very useful for a wide case of reasons. So here, we're just going to demonstrate some of the basics of layer comps to get you started. So here we have our scene in the forest and we have Kusi sitting on the log. And let's say for whatever reason, we want the ability to export out or isolate Kusi on the timeline. So that way it's easy to access her at any point and isolate that rig. What we can do is come over here to the layers panel and hide everything we don't want in this layer comp. So we only want Kusi. Now, if we go up here to layer comps, we can choose to create a new one. And here we can name this one Kusi and then hit enter. Now, let's say we want to add in another layer. So we go to the forest scene here. Let's hide Kusi and bring things in. And we'll just do a couple more here. So I'm going to hide the OL plants as well as trees and the background. And let's just say for whatever reason, I just want the ground here to be the next layer comp. So I'm just going to come up here and create a new layer comp. And we can name this one ground and then hit OK. And then let's do a couple more. So we'll do the background and we'll just add in those background trees for this as well. So new layer comp, I can name this one BG, click OK. And then for OL plants, I can just make a new layer comp and I'll name this one FG plants or foreground plants and then click OK. So now, as you're going through your animation, let's say at one point you're like, I really need to work on the Kusi layer. I need to animate her. I need to do something with her. And I want to isolate everything else just so it's easier. I don't want to get those foreground trees in the way or whatever the case is. You could simply come over here to your layer comps and come down to expose layer comp and then choose Kusi. And you'll see it hides everything else just like we had it set up when we created the comp. And we just have access to her now, making work easier. We can focus on her, do our animation, and then perhaps we're like, well, now I just want to focus on the background. Well, go to expose layer comp and choose BG. And now we can work on those two layers with the trees and the background image. And then you could go from there to another one. Perhaps you just want to work on the ground. Now we have that ground layer ready to go. So in addition to being able to expose, we can come over here and we can also update a layer comp. So let's say when you're working on this, you don't want the background plants after working on the ground layer comp. You're like, you know, those background plants shouldn't be in there. I actually just want the ground only. Well, we can come over here and let's go to the ground and we can remove the plants just like this. So this is going to be the ground. Come over here to layer comps choose to update layer comp, and then we can choose to pick ground from the list. So now if I come back here and I just expose Kusi, we can see her, and then I want to work on the ground. With my newly updated layer comp, I can choose ground, and you can see that those trees that I had included in there are no longer included because we went in and updated that comp. So coming back here to this menu, you can also, if you wish, rename a layer comp. So if, for instance, after you've changed one, maybe you want to come in here and rename this to ground and log and hit OK. So now if we go back here and choose to expose, you can see here we can have ground and log now on that list as the new name. Now exposing a layer comp will simply bring up that layer comp and nothing else. But if you want to see more than just that layer comp, perhaps you want to expose more than one, you can choose a show. 
So we're exposing the background, and now we're going to go in and show the ground and log as well. So you can see now we have the background as well as the ground. And coming over here once again, we could choose to hide a layer comp. So maybe now you just want the background. You can choose to hide that ground and log, and now we're just viewing that. And you can also choose if you want to see all the layers at once, or if you want to hide all your layers at once. We can also expose comps on the timeline. So if we come in here, we can expose the ground and log. And now we have access to that. You can see that it is just choosing with these check marks here, those particular assets that were involved in that comp. Showing a layer comp is the same thing. You'll be able to see more than one if you choose this option on the timeline. And you can also choose if you want to turn off the visibility of a certain object on the timeline. And finally, you can delete any of the comps that you see fit. Now, this is also useful when you want to go in and export out. Because as I said before, if you want to just export out the character separately, the background separately, the trees separately, and then do something else in, let's say, another piece of software, you can easily do that. And once you have your comps set up, you want to make sure you save your work and then come over here to File, and let's go to Moho Exporter. So here, when we save it and bring up the Moho Exporter, you can see that it brings in the file automatically. And we could go in and hit the settings and adjust where we want to export this to and all that. But the main thing here to keep in mind is if you want to separate out your layer comps, you're going to want to come up to this option next to the wrench, sl split selected item by layer comp. And here, you'll see now, it has the same project name and everything except for the layer comp at the end. So what you would actually do here is export out four separate sequences, each containing only the layer comp that you have specified. And they're all going to go to 240 frames unless if you also specify. So you'll essentially be rendering out this timeline four times, but just including the different layer comps that you've set up. Finally, you do have access to other options with your layer comps, very similar to how you have them accessed right here on your layers panel. But if you come up here to window and then choose layer comps or control alt J, you'll see that we have a new window that comes up, allowing us to view them very easily or to disable them if we want. And we also have similar options down here compared to where we had on the layers panel, such as being able to add a new layer comp so whatever is visible right now, you can go in and just make that a layer comp and name it and do that. You can choose if you want to update a selected layer comp. So perhaps you make a change, such as the visibility to a layer, you can go in and update that. You can remove layer comps, you can expose the visibility, expose the visibility in the timeline. And basically anything that you could do over here, you can do here. You just might find it easier to access the comps on this panel versus always having to go in through that drop down menu on the layers panel. But as you can see, it's all here in the event you find this easier.